Uh, here we are. We have um, a featherweight contender, Mikey Garcia, gonna, about to fight uh, Orlando Salido this Saturday. Tell me how you feel about uh, being in the Garden. It's your second time, I believe, in the Garden, and you're fighting for the featherweight title finally. Feel feel good, um, you know, physically and mentally. I feel good. Uh, I, uh, I, I'm in great shape, um, but I'm, I also feel very excited to be here. You know, great show, uh, first show of the year. You know, everybody's expecting a, a great, great show. So um, last time we had a good outcome. You know, last time I was here we had a, a victory, so we expect another victory and. You know, put on a good show for the fans. All right, tell me about Salido, uh, the style matchup that it brings with you. You guys are both uh, entertaining, uh, aggressive fighters. Uh, how does that style matchup uh, play out? Well, there, there's many things that he can do, um, many things I can do in the ring. He, um, he not only brawls, but he can also box on the outside. He can adjust to his opponents. I can also adjust. It's going to be interesting to see how the fight, you know, turns out and unfolds in the you know first rounds, middle rounds, and then the later rounds. Um, I think uh, we've you know worked on many things to prepare well for whatever you know the fight, uh, uh, the pace or whatever the pace of the fight you know turns to be. You know your brother, of course, a former world champion, uh, and he's also your trainer. Tell me about uh, did he give you any uh, special instructions or uh, special preparation for this fight uh, to mentally prepare you for what you're gonna uh, go through? Um, I mean, you know, he, he knows what it takes to be a world champ. He knows the work that, that is needed. And, you know, he, he showed me, you know, when I was watching him train, you know, I, I learned, you know, watching him, you know, that it takes a lot of work. I was a younger kid, but I still remember the training camps. I remember the discipline and, and, and the, uh, you know, the training camp hard work. So we just decided to, to work hard on, on, on uh, everything, you know, run hard, train hard, spar hard, everything. Um, take another step forward and then that notch up, you know, to, to get in, in the best shape possible. How is uh, Featherweight? Are you still making it comfortably? Yeah, I, I'm not, you know, having problems with the weight. I think uh, we could stay here for a while. Um, I don't plan on moving anytime soon. Uh, I feel comfortable with this weight class. I feel fast. I feel strong. You know, I think I'm gonna stay here for a while. You know, of course, you're in a uh, camp uh, with Nonito Ronero a lot because you know you guys. Uh, well, I mean, as far as uh, you uh, train with the same guy, tell me about. Um, uh, they're talking about Nonito Ronero versus Abnamaris. How do you think that plays out if it, if it ever happens? Well, if the fight does happen, I mean, there's, you know, reasons why it probably won't happen. And then, you know, if it does happen, it'd be a good fight first. You know, uh, the fans want to see it, you know, so it'd be a good fight for the fans. Um, I still think that Donaire is a, you know, much better fighter, uh, has better talent, physically strong, you know, mentally strong. He's uh, probably the best, you know, in, in his weight class, you know, that nobody can deny it you know the, the results the facts so it'll be a very good fight but I still you know give Nonito Doner the, the edge and anything you know he's got the speed he's got the power he's got the abilities the reflexes he's, you know he's got everything to win. The wound on issue is that a sparring issue? Uh, that was last week we had a little scrape, scratch and it swelled up a little so it's a little slight scratch but no big issue. Does it affect you on fighting? I, I doubt anything will affect that. Is it a headbutt or? No uh, it was a lace of the glove the, the, like the glove and the tape somehow a small little scratch that swelled up last week and uh, it's peeling out but eh, no big deal. Hope it feels better. All right.